Hello and welcome back to Bug Rounds. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly, so if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So today's video is actually a request video. I popped up a post a while ago now and a gentleman named Kevin Poe requested that I show all my mounteds. I hope I pronounced your name correctly, apologise if I didn't Kevin. So here we are, I'm going to show you everything I've got. Now if you have been watching my channel over the last course of several months and things, you would have known that I've moved location of my inverts a few times. And in the latest move to move them into this room, just over here, when I did so I actually lost a bunch of my mounteds in that move. I believe perhaps there was too much dust in the air, there was nothing visible, nothing noticeable, but I noticed that my own breathing was a little bit worse. Um, so. I think I may have lost them due to that, so I was a little bit gutted, but I still have a fair few to show you today. So let's crack on with that now. So we're gonna start off with this beautiful specimen here. I'll give you a little bit of a zoom in for a second. Now, this was actually a secret Santa gift bought for me by the amazing Owls Arachnids. Now this was a pet shop mantis. We believe it to be of a Schroeder mantis genus, uh, possibly a lineola, but we're not 100% sure. And that's the only issue with uh, pet shop bought you're not always guaranteed the species that you think now this has been an absolute delight to raise she was bought at a fairly young age and um, we're gonna see if she'll take to a roach And there we have it. So most of my mantis actually feed on flying prey, such as blue bottles, green bottles, fruit flies for the small ones. But this, this one here, along with some of my other bigger ones, happily take to roaches. So there's a bit of a better view for you. You can see her abdomen is fairly thin. It is in fact feeding day for all of my mantis. You can see that she often uses a similar technique of biting off the legs first so the roach cannot run away. Now the interesting thing about these is Al actually purchased me two mantis of the same suck. Now you can see that this one sticks to your typical green mantis coloration although she has some beautiful red along the tops of her legs there. The next mantis I'm going to be showing you is the other one from the sack, which is in fact a completely different colour. So let's move on to that one now. Now I'm afraid I'm going to have to show you this one in its container because if we go down here, ba 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 bum, recently molted. So this would have either happened early hours of the morning or while I took my daughter to school this morning and I don't want to disturb a freshly molted mantis so it's not going to take to food either. What I will try and do is show you from this angle here so you can see complete different coloration a molted sort of or mottled sort of brown coloration on this mantis of the same sack. Now some of them do tend to stick to browns for a certain sex and the other for the other but on this particular species I'm not sure if that's in fact the case or it's just taken on a different coloration. Now I don't want to disturb this one for any longer so we're going to be moving straight on now I just wanted to show you the comparison. So this one is my giant Kenya mantis, still a juvenile at the moment. Now you would have seen this one in a video I did, well, quite a few months back now. And it's growing away nicely. And this one tends to be quite skittish, but uh, it's doing well. I also have a male and I'm hoping to have a breeding pair. Now this one is definitely, definitely due a feed. Um, it can be fussy but I have seen it take to roaches before, so we're gonna see what happens. There we go. 
It's actually holding onto the tong. <laughs> they have got such adorable little faces. All right, madam, I need you to let go. Let go of the tong. Go of the tong. And she has grasped that really, really well. There we are. She took the same tactic of biting off the legs. I don't know how well you can see that. It's not the perfect view to, to get that, but I assure you she did take off a leg first. Now she's sinking into her meal. Now I won't be showing the meal today because he pretty much looks the same right now. So you can see that she's happily tucking into her roach. She's got almost a pinkish tone to her eyes. Absolutely beautiful mantis. So, let's move on. Next is my orchid mantis, an absolutely beautiful specimen. Now I do own three orchid mantises. Um, two were from John Waite, a sexed pair that are still doing very, very well. And this is my one from Mitch from Unseen Universe. Now I'm only showing this one because of it being the largest specimen that I have. And it's got very pale pink to it. It hasn't got any of the dark pinks that you do see on some specimens. Now this one is fussy and will only take to flying prey. So I'm actually going to attempt to pick up a blue bottle with tweezers, which may well fail. So I'm not sure if you'll get the feeding on here right now, but we'll give it a go. So I have caught one in my tongs and also just had one escape. <laughs> Now, I'm not sure if it will take to it by tong. Yes. Perfect. I now have one buzzing around my room very annoyingly. But just look at that. One of the most beautiful praying mantis you'll probably ever see. So let's move on from this beauty here and I'll show you something different. This is my P. Wallenbergi, pretty little mantis. You can see all those beautiful spines there. Now this one has molted since I got it from Mitch, possibly twice, I can't quite remember. And it's another one I find to only want flying prey. Now, these blue bottles are quite big prey for this mantis, but it shouldn't have a problem taking it down. I'll see if I can fetch another. So I've actually set a lot free in my room now, trying to do this video for you. Might be too big. No. There we are. I've actually <laughs> ran out of blue bottles now because I've got about four buzzing in this little room of mine. Now normally I would either drop casters like the blue bottle pupa into their enclosure or I'd put the blue bottles in the fridge and simply pick them up and take them out because they go docile but um, for recording this I wanted them on this nice bit of wood here. Um, oh you can see that fly buzzing away. And I, I wanted to be able to show you on here rather than in the enclosure. I don't know if you were able to pick up any sound a minute ago of the blue bottle trying to fly away. This mantis has gone straight for the head. So let's move on. This here is my C. elongata. Still at a tiny, tiny nymph stage. Now I'll be feeding this one on fruit flies and I don't really want to be setting all the fruit flies loose in my home but you can at least have a look at it and appreciate it. I've managed to catch a baby red runner roach. We'll see if it will take to that. Has it got it? Yes, it has. So it has taken to a baby red runner. I'm 
I'm not sure if I could zoom in without losing focus here. But I think you've got a nice enough view there. Cute, isn't it? So, moving on. And last but not least is a ghost mantis. So I actually have two of these remain. I lost three in the move. And this is the smaller of the two. And the reason I've got this one out and not the other is because there's actually a bunch of flies buzzing around in their enclosure. And he was the easiest one to take out. So these ones have been feeding regularly um, and will not take a feed today. But I just absolutely love the look of these. And I would like to get more. I wanted to get a few as a communal and none of them have eaten each other. They've always had a large source of food, constantly supplied. Um, it's just sadly, I'm guessing, like I said before, it was the dust of the move, but at least you got to have a nice look at this dude here. So Kevin, I hope I did you proud on showing off my Mantis collection. So just remember, I also had two more orchids, another giant Kenya, and another ghost that were not shown in today's footage. So that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my praying mantis, and I hope that you enjoyed that, Kevin. So if you do have requests, I do take them on board. I may not come and show them straight away, or I may have to consider it depending on my schedule, and my time scale, and whether I think it would be entertaining enough for the viewers at home. But you can always pop me in the comments below any video requests. I also do have a Patreon page, guys. Now requests from patrons are pretty much gonna happen either way, whether it would be a private video directed at that patron or whether it would be one I thought was eligible to go onto YouTube. Now, I'm perfectly happy to just have you as viewers, but if you did wanna check out the page and look at the tier system that I do, there will be a link in the description below. I also have my merchandising page. Now, this T-shirt is no longer available as a limited edition T-shirt. However, we do still have our Guild of Assassin one available. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye bye.